Last week, I choked. In what was one of my closest games, I took my eye off the ball and threw it all away. Something that has its own consequences because for the first time ever, I might just end up missing playoffs. Not that I have any time to mope, as we now face one of the top coaches in Jay Ricky of Tinkaton Hammers. A man who isn't just tearing up the competition, but one who I have a considerable history with. As it is he who I bested to win my first ever draft league championship. The both of us, we've been around the scene for a while. I genuinely got nothing but love for the guy because for as great of a competitor he is, he's an even better content creator. Which makes this all the more unfortunate because all of this is secondary to me. I need this victory because I can't go back to how things used to be, who I was during then. I refuse to let that define who I am now. So Ricky, I hope you're ready for what's coming tonight because you just like everybody else, we'll remember that Uni's the boss. Ah! Right, so by the looks of his team, he did not bring any palm out, which I'm pretty surprised by, to be honest. But otherwise, most of his Pokemon are stuff that I was kind of expecting. No Typhlosion being there, I think is pretty good because this does make it a case where if I'm able to set up screens and, you know, potentially get my weakness policy off, I can do a lot of damage to him with my Decidueye and especially my Dunban, which looks immaculate against him as far as the end game goes seeing seeing as to how he has the Gligar by his side i'm actually going to lead off with my lens here because the idea behind this is the fact that with lens i will be able to potentially set up spikes turn one and scare his Gligar out so yeah that is pretty much you know the idea behind this and with that being said there's nothing left for me to say other than have fun to you my brother Right, so he le does lead off with his wave of Vaporeon as I lead off with my lands. And turn one, I wouldn't exactly call that the best case scenario, to be honest. I was far more worried about the prospect of, you know, like, uh, lead Gligar here. But evidently, you know, that's gonna come back to bite me big time, I think. I mean, Skull does way too much damage to me, to be honest. If I got in my Slowking as he ends up going, as he ends up flip turning into his, uh, what you may call it, the Crawdon. That could be a bit annoying, but at this point, you know, you know what? Yeah, let's just do that for now. Spikes would certainly have been nice turn one, but yeah, that's just not a luxury we got as of this moment in time. Hopefully he goes for a Skull. You know, bro, just, just, just go straight for a Skull. Why don't you? Okay, he does go for a Surf, and that is pretty sick, I think. That is pretty sick because what I'm gonna do... Okay, that was a crit, because I was gonna be like, wait, hold on a second. Why did that do uh, so much damage to me? But what I'm gonna do here right now is just take this as the opportunity to set up a Reflect because I think screens are gonna be very annoying for him to deal with. Light screens would certainly be good for his Gudra as well as his uh, Tornadus in the event of it being special, but the bigger threat here at hand would have to be his Crawdont. So what I'm gonna do is go for a Reflect and then pivot out with my Okie Doki and potentially either go for a Toxic or just a Knockoff. That I feel like gives me far more leverage here. So I'm just gonna go for a Reflect. And even if he tries to go for a combine or whatever, which he does right now, okay, so that's what we're doing, huh? Fair, fair enough. Okay. So just in case, it, my my screen it gets working. Sorry. Mm. I mean, I'm just gonna go for a light screen here. I think he's gonna go for a shadow ball. Makes sense. Makes sense. Please don't j just don't one shot me, sir. Okay, thank you. It is not gonna one shot me, so there is that. And right now, what I am going to do here is take this as the opportunity to go hard out into my Decidueye. And if you do proc my weakness policy, that's not going to be good news for you, sir. Far from it, in, fa in fact. But yes, that is what we're going to do here and now. I don't think you should be able to two-shot me because Decidueye has far greater Spidev than Fizzdev. But he is going to go for a Combine again. That is fine. That is fine by me. Mm-hmm. As right now... Yeah, it does. It should not even come remotely close towards knocking me out. So what I'm going to do here is actually just go for a Trailblaze. Because my idea behind this... Actually, hold on a second. If you're weakness policy yourself, that would be pretty annoying, I think. And going by what you just did, I would not be surprised if that's the case, sir. So you know what? I'm, a, I'm just going to Sword Dance too. Want to play 21? I got 22. I don't know why I just recycled Jake the Snake Roberts line there. But he's going to swap out. Oof, unfortunate. 
But who is he gonna go out into though is the question. He's gonna go out into his leech. The muck. Okay, wait, no, hold on a second. That's actually really good for me. That is actually really good for me because with getting a swords dance up, I should, in theory, put myself in a very great position against him. I mean, if that's how it is, I might just go for a trailblaze into a poltergeist, to be honest. Evidently, I'm being a bit greedy right now, but I think that might just turn out to be a big favor for me. Nope. He's gonna go for a haze. Okay, makes sense. Oh well. So much for that. But I think that's okay. So you are leftovers. You are leftovers. So what's gonna happen now is me setting up a sword stance because if you attack me with a with a poison type or a or a dark type move, you will proc my weakness policy. I will be at plus four, and that's not gonna bode well for you at all. I think. Yeah, maybe I should have just uh, attacked him uh, attacked him then and there with a the poltergeist. If I did that, woo -wee, we would have been schmoving there. And my styles would have been far more healthier. So a bit of a wasted opportunity on my behalf for sure. It's still not the worst case scenario just yet. You know what I'm saying? But what is he going to do though is the question. I'm gonna set up another swords dance as he is going to go for a poison jab. Don't poison me, sir, please, please. <coughs> He, he gets a point first turn poison. That is a, that is like actually a bit annoying and unfortunate too. I didn't need that to happen. I didn't need that happening to me. But at the same time, you know, I think I got I evidently got a bit too greedy there because I saw an opportunity that I felt like would have put me in a very game commanding or even a game ending position. Can I please hit, sir? Are you serious? Whatever. I am trying to do my best here, guys. And this game is literally not allowing me. I was in such a good position there. But now that opportunity just got thrown away because of what just ended up transpiring. And now, like, literally, this is the worst possible case scenario here now. Oh, well. You gotta be kidding me. So it's Haze, it's Poison Jab, and, it's a, and whatever else I'm not even sure of, honestly. Like, how do I, how do I take this thing down now? Man, that really sucks. <laughs> that really fucking sucks. I'm not gonna front with you on that. And my reflect just wore off too for good measure. Because now I have to see exactly what you can potentially do with against me. I have to I have to swords dance. Evidently. Okay, he's gonna swap out. But into who though is the question. Ah, he's gonna go out in his wave. Okay, fair enough, yo. Why am I why am I trying to speak like Jesse? <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on and my light screen is gone too for good measure I think I have to attack this thing though because truthfully speaking I since this thing can set up a combine and stuff I'm not exactly sure what I can do to best combat this thing so yeah I'm just gonna attack him where he can't defend but yeah the, the plus two or the plus two poltergeist would have done so so well for me honestly Okay, so he's gonna he's gonna surf me. Are you serious? <laughs> what the hell? My dude is about to go to a, go to a fucking lottery at this point because this is in, this is genuinely one of the most insane insane things I'm seeing right now. Oh, buddy, whatever, man. First he gets an immediate poison. He it, like I dodge a poltergeist. Like he dodges a fucking plus two poltergeist, and now this happens. This is genuinely highway robbery at this point. I just, I just wish that this game was being more fair, but unfortunately, it looks like this game is definitely skewed against me this time around. And contrary to what me wearing my anime protagonist gear, I don't in fact have plot armor by my side this time around. <laughs> oh, buddy. Mm -hmm. Out comes a leech, which could have been a dead leech by now, but <laughs> uh, that is not, uh, that is not what we're having to deal with here now. Bruh. Are you serious? Bro, it's a 90% accurate move. It's a fucking 90% accurate move. Like, what do you expect me to do here then at this point? Are you gonna miss again, you piece of shit? 
No. Oh wow, congratulations. Unfortunately, you're still a very washed AJ Styles. Get out of here, you piece of shit. Useless. That was that was really annoying. I'm not gonna front with you on that. Yeah, I guess in hindsight, I should have just swords that. I mean, I should have just attacked this thing where I when I could have and just taken this thing out. So that is on me. But come on, when shit like this happens, what else is there for me to potentially do about it, right? Like, this is generally insane. This match is uh, this match is turning out to be. Uh, Certainly one of the most skewed ones of all time. There's literally nothing uh, nothing that I can do about it in this situation. I guess I can try to like set up screens and do something with my Grimmsnarl, but this game is clearly showing who it's favoring here. And uh, that name is not the Uzi Gunner, yes. I, obviously in hindsight, like I could have, uh, I this whole situation probably could have been avoided if I took this thing down then and there with my fully healthy Decidueye. But, like, at the same time, when you are considering what the situation is here and now, like, I probably would not have even hit my Poltergeist in the first place. And I doubt that knockoff is gonna be able to pick you off, so... You tell me, bros. You tell me. It doesn't even kill. And I got a Toxic Chain for good measure, but... It's a bit too late for the luck, my dude. It's a bit too late for the luck. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go for a Terra Blast. I am physically defensive, so I should be able to tank this, I think. Can I? Okay, it's it's not a 2 at KO, so, you know, uh, it's not the worst, worst possible thing yet, but it's obviously not the best either. So since that's how it is, I'm just gonna try to get as much health up my back courtesy of a Drain Punch. Yeah. Oh, man. That is really unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but there's nothing I can do about it, evidently. As down goes the uh, as down goes the regular muck, and right now we are not in the best situation. Far from it. I can't think of a uh, I can't think of a way to potentially make a comeback here, other than you know. Okay, he's gonna go out into his vision, the tornadoes. All right. I mean, I have to go out in my uni here. I don't have I don't particularly have a choice here, don't I? Do I? Ah, uh, buddy. It's not a 6-0, but like, with how great the first sequences start went. Like, we, we should have been in a far better position, but we're not. And that sucks, you know? That really sucks. But it is, it, there's nothing I can do about it right now. He's gonna go for a U-turn. Makes sense, makes sense. I'm assuming he wants to go out to his Gligar or whatever. I mean, unless I want to Air Slash flinch him, I don't think there's much I can do in the sequence. Maybe I should have stayed in. Made a far more aggressive play by potentially clicking Ice Punch or whatever. But, nah. He's gonna go into his light nightcrawler, makes sense. All right, Uni. We're gonna have to do a little bit of hexing to get ourselves back in this game. Can you do that for me? Please? All right, air slash number one, that does absolutely. Okay, that's flinch number one. That is flinch number one. Okay, Uni, I need you to keep doing this, okay? All right, air slash number two. Flinch number two, okay, okay. That's what I like to see, but I need you to do more. Come on. Come on, Uni. Please, become a Jirachi right now. Make a Jirachi and take it down. Oh my god, three flinches in a row. Ayo, ayo. Okay, okay. That is something. Come on, pick it up. Please, 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 please pick it up. Please, 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 please. Oh, okay, uh, four, four flinches in a row. Yo. <laughs> that is insane, but I'll take it. After what happened, I'll take it. Anytime, any day. All right, please. You need. I need you to pull, pull through for me. I need you to pull through for me, because this is our only way of getting ourselves back into this game. And right now, the only plot armor Pokemon that I have by my side is my Kilowattro. So please. Okay, he's gonna swap out. Yep. He didn't want the smoke. That's for sure. He's gonna go out into his Nimrod, which would have to be the Hisuian Gudra. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Unfortunately, Air Slash missed here, but I think that might just be a blessing in itself. I don't know. All right, so I might have to... Yeah, I'm kind of forced to go out in my Sloking here, but not before obviously taking a Pound of Flesh courtesy of a Bolt Switch. So that's what we're going to do here now. Okay? Okay, there's a Bolt Switch. And it's, it's, it's pretty respectable damage. But right now, I think I have to go out in my Gintoki here 100%. I don't know what he would want to go for. 
because I don't. I'm a bit. Con oh no! Oh, this is a, this is the acid armor set. giving me some chance here it's it's not looking the best but it's also not looking the worst so there's nothing else for me to do other than telling a chillingly bad joke and try to go trying to go for broke with my grim snarl so if i can guarantee get you know three three full turns of sleep then perhaps there is something we can do something you know uh, buddy, I got a grim snarl and a dream. There's nothing left for me to have other than a Don Ban and a dream, okay? So come on, let's do this. 
Let's do this here, please, here and now. Oh gosh. Okay. That's one turn of sleep. And I think there's nothing else for me to do other than repeatedly bulking up here. I need you to have a second full turn of sleep. Please. Please, 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 please. Please do not wake up. Please do not wake up. Please do not wake up. Okay. There we go. That is really good. That is generally really good. So I have to like it. No, I have to keep going for broke. All right. Plus three attack now. Oh, buddy. Come on. All right. 277. The thing is, body press is going to consider progressively do even less damage, which I think is really, really good, personally. I'm going to go for a go to plus four. Actually, wait, I, I'm not even considering how many turns of reflect there are. Shit. Okay, that's, uh, I think that might just be a choke on my end. Don't crit me, please. Okay. Oh, okay. I have two more turns of reflect left. I'm at plus four right now, and I don't think there's anything left for me to do other than just attacking and hoping for the best. What does more though, Stomping Tantrum or Play Rough? Okay, Stomping Tantrum evidently does more. So we're gonna go for that. We're gonna go for Stomping Tantrum here. Mm hmm Come on. That does... Why does that do nothing? Come on. <laughs> this is... This this match is us. It's just going off, uh, off on the deep end, I think. <laughs> Please, let something happen. I'm begging you. Oh, okay. That's... Uh, okay, it goes for our second body press. D <laughs> oh, my God. Well, there's nothing else I can do anymore. I, I generally did my best, folks. I generally did my best. But my best was evidently not enough. It's unfortunate, but... Well, nothing I can do about it. Gonna get some flinches? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. What is going on here? I don't know. The crazy thing is I might, I might just be able to pull this back. As insane as it is right now. All right, Uni. I need you to pull through for me. Here goes nothing. Come on. Please. 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 Nope. Well, there goes our chances. I mean, I did my best, fellas. If, like, if stuff like this happens, then there's really nothing else you can do other than take it at the chin and just accept it, you know? Just take it at the chin and accept it for what it is. Uh, does it, you know, make the... It doesn't make things any less unfortunate? No, it doesn't. Far from it. But what can you do about it, you know? There's nothing you can do about it. Like, I, I, I really tried with this, but it's clear that this game was... Uh, this, this match was designed in my Rizik to not allow me to win this one. Uh, so, it is what it is. You know what? No, never give up until it's over. Never give up until it's over. <laughs> Come on, Uni, please. <laughs> be a Jirachi, be a Jirachi. Oh my gosh, this Uni is fighting. You know what? I'm so proud of her for what she's, what she's being able to do. Because while most of my other pieces have unfortunately valiantly tried and failed. Like, this one is not fighting until the very end. This one is not gonna stop fighting until the very end. So you know what? Uh, there's nothing I can do but respect that. As unfortunately, yeah, he's gonna break through. He's gonna go for a Dragon Pulse. And just like that, we are certainly going to lose in what what, what most certainly was a game of all time. Uh, it's a very shitty way to go down because I feel like, you know, with how I positioned myself, especially later on in this game, I could have made something up out of it, but the game evidently did not allow me, the game decided otherwise. Pokemon is a game of skill. Uh, and yeah, there's nothing else for me to do other than say GG to you. Look at Gintoki still survive though. What a demon. What a bloody demon. Can I get a last, last turn burn for good measure? No, I can't. But yeah, uh, it is what it is. Congratulations to uh, congratulations to my guy, you know, like uh, Ricky. Uh, despite how this game goes, he's still one one hell of a performer. I got nothing but respect and love for him. And I think with this, we are now unfortunately out of playoffs because uh, with with how this match went, I don't think there's any chance for us to to make it now. But 
it is what it is. You take what you can get. Unfortunately, what I got was the short end of the stick. But yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this in any way, feel free to drop a like. My name is Yuzi Gunner. Please do check out Richie, Ricky's channel because despite how, how uh, hard I am right now with how everything transpired, I got nothing but love for the guy. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a glorious day. And I shall most certainly see you all on the flip side. Wish. Hold on. You're not out yet. What do you mean? You still can make it to playoff if you win your final game. But knowing you, you're only gonna embarrass yourself again because... You know what? Maybe I will. Maybe it's my destiny to once again crash and burn. But since you say that you know exactly how I feel, you should know by now that I'm still gonna try. Even if you're setting yourself up for disappointment? Yeah. After all, never give up. Until the very end. <laughs>